This is the Dallas temperature sensor and it's really useful because you can use it to measure temperatures both indoors and outdoors and today we'll connect it up to Home Assistant. A big thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. Ordering from PCBWay is super easy and they're always running some kind of great special so you can be pretty sure that you'll get a good deal. Their board manufacturing service offers a great quality professional looking result for your project. They also offer an assembly service if you don't feel like getting your soldering iron out. In addition, you can get them to make a great looking case to finish off your project. So if you have a project that needs a custom PCB, check out their website at the link in the description below. So here we have the Dallas temperature sensor. As you can see, it's a very neat little device and it's all packaged nice and neatly in a waterproof packaging. So the beauty about this is you can use this for both external temperature measurements where it can be exposed to the weather, but also for either air temperature where you've just got it hanging in the air, measuring the temperature, or also surface temperature. So you could apply it to a certain surface and you could then use it for surface measurement as well. So it offers you both those options. Now, as you can see, it comes with a cable, which is approximately about seven or 800 millimeters long. On the end of the cable, we have three wires coming out. So we have a red, which is our plus, the minus, which is our ground, and the yellow, which is our sensor. Now, what I've done here is I've connected this directly up to a Shelly Uni. You probably realize this is one of my favorite little Shelly devices because it's really easy to connect and it offers you a lot of flexibility. Now you can actually connect up two of these Dallas temperature sensors to one Shelly. Now the way you connect it up is very, very simple. The key thing is the Dallas temperature sensor is limited to a five volt supply. So the beauty about the Shelly is it has a five volt output coming out of it. So we're using the green as the ground and the yellow is connecting to our red. That's the positive five volts. And the blue cable coming out of the Shelly Uni is our signal. So you can connect one sensor to this like, like this. If you wanted to connect two sensors, you would just wire the next sensor in, in parallel with the sensor. And both of these would then appear in your home assistant. Now having a look at the board, uh, the beauty of this device is it has an external antenna which gives it a really good range for um, communicating via Bluetooth. All right and if we scroll down onto this side, if we move down to this side over here, we've got our normal 12 volt power supply. So these uh, Shelly Unis can run between 12 and 30 volts. So there we go. So once you've connected your Shelly up, um, all you need to do is connect it to your local Wi-Fi. I'll leave a link in the description below showing the method that I use, which is the easiest way to do that. Once it's done, it will then show up here as a notification pretty much immediately. So we click on there, new devices discovered. Um, there we go, there's our Shelly Uni. We configure it. Do you wanna configure it? Great, yes, let's go for it. Select an area, we'll put that in the bedroom for this one. You can probably hear in the background, it's hooking up to my um, my Alexa. And basically there we go, there's our Shelly Uni. And as you can see already, it is pulling in our temperature of 22 degrees. So as easy as that, you can now use that measurement inside of your home assistant for any sort of applications that you need good quality temperature readings. Anyway, that's all for now. Have a great week. Bye then.